Yes. This year, a 30-second spot cost a record $5.2 million. So which brand got their money's worth? Joining me now, advertising expert Jamie Turner. He's the author and CEO of 60secondmarketer.com. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. I am glad to be I'm, here. I'm pumped for you to be here, only because I get to watch some of the commercials right, again. Me right, too. right. <laughs> okay, so you picked some um, that that you thought were the best, and I want to start with it was the avocados one, right? Yeah. With the, the dog, the yep. dog show. Okay, yeah. let's play it. Let's take a look at it. Looks like the dogs have settled in. They can almost sniff the bum of victory. That's a good sit, a shake, and a stay. I'm sure he's making someone very proud right now. Is that a one? Oh, the guac got her. That'll land you in the penalty cone. Avocados from Mexico. I can't get enough. Okay, I, it's, I, why did this work for you? Like, why didn't it? It was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, anytime you can put dogs in a commercial, you automatically have people kind of leaning in and watching it. This was a little bit of an unusual spot, and Avocados from Mexico is getting famous for that. They always do things that are a little kind of quirky and different. That actually works for them because people are now starting to expect it. But the key thing is, is let's take a look at how people think about the brand after the, after the Super Bowl, and I think they're going to be talking about this for a long time well, to come. Well, dogs and avocados. No one's going to complain about that. Right. All right, next up, Bon and Viv spiked seltzer. Yeah. And let's watch that one and see what you think. It's sparkling water and alcohol. It comes in fruit botanicals like pear, elderflower. The zero grams of sugar. Yeah, seems too good to be true. But let us tell you, the myth is real. What do you think, sharks? First of all, everyone's like, you had me at zero grams of sugar. But also, like, you can, like, just now, I've, I've already seen it, obviously. Yeah. But again, I'm like, wow, look at that. Yeah, sure. there was there's something it's ethereal so about it. Yeah, it just grabs your attention, pulls you in. Didn't quite make as big an impact as I thought. I thought it was going to be one of the most talked about. And it turns out people enjoyed it a lot, but didn't necessarily put it on the same level as some of the other spots that were out there. But overall, they took a risk. They did a good job. You got to give them thumbs up. All right. So milk puppies and avocados. But this one, uh, you know, everybody sort of is always in the Pepsi and Coke debate. Yeah. And then Pepsi had the more than okay ad. Let's play it. And then I'm curious to hear what you think about yeah. this. I think you might be just saying it wrong. You got to say it with pride. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Pepsi's more than okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what have we learned today? You want a Pepsi? I want a Pepsi. She wants a Pepsi. There you go. Funny, right? But like, if you're a Pepsi person, you're a Pepsi person. If you're a Coke person, you're a Coke. This not going to change my mind. Well, you're right in a lot of ways. But the other thing is we're trying to have a, make Pepsi part of the conversation. And so I had a company called Talkwalker analyze what was going on out in the social media sphere. They figured out 600,000 people were talking about Pepsi. One, uh, 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 155,000 were talking about Coca-Cola. So it really, really kind of impacted Pepsi and more than okay is starting to trend on uh, hashtags on Twitter. So they've really knocked it out of the park with this one. And right. again, a little bit of a risk, but they did a good job. It works. It. Yeah. it works. I'll take a Pepsi. Yeah. All right. So there were a few fails, right? This yeah. one I want to play and, and you can tell me why you thought it was a fail. Boring, you think? Oh my gosh! Just like uh, it didn't, it just didn't make it. They uh, were like, they missed the punchline. An epic fail, possibly okay. the worst Super Bowl commercial of all time. And I commend Burger King for taking a risk because it's yeah. a little bit like the stock market. You take a risk, you might have a big gain, but you take a risk, you might also fall flat. I think that one totally fell flat, and I think it was really, really boring and a bad idea for Burger. But King like, there, like, there's a lot of people that that put their input into these, so th they had to know that it was risky. I totally agree with you. I'm sitting there. How in a board meeting do you sit around yeah. and watch that and then go, we're going to spend $5.2 million to run that. You might as well just flush the money down the toilet. I'm, a I'm sorry to say that because I love taking risks. They took a risk in this one and it really fell flat. All right. Jamie Turner, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah.